All right, here we go. Deep drop lead knot. Guys, this this particular knot that he's going to show you, I had never tied this. I, I, I learned the hard way. Um, and basically what this is, guys who are deep dropping, whether it's snapper, grouper, queens, swordfish, you go to a spot where it, it, there's a graduation from gravel or rock to deep mud. A lot of times you'll hit the bottom with these leads. Now these leads, these leads at the time, will, they'll go in four or five feet into the mud. You, you know, Texas, the Gulf up north, some of those uh, golden tile spots. You hit the bottom and all of a sudden you go to wind the, the rod off the bottom to wind the lead off and the rod sticks. In areas where you have combination of rock and mud, you, you, you want to tie a light line. You don't want heavy line. If I hang the bottom with 200 pound test on the lead line and this gets in a sea fan and hangs on the bottom, you're losing 350 bucks above you, okay? Because you're gonna break the braid. I want to be able to at least give myself a chance to break the mono at some point. That being said, this lead stuck in mud tied the way I usually tie it, going through here and putting a fisherman's knot or a uni knot will actually snap, okay? Sometimes when this lead really sticks. So we're gonna go through a simple knot. It's John B's knot. He's, he also ties it on wire rigs and other things that yeah, I've seen. Yeah, it's a good connection Am for any, any swivel connection, basically. It's a, it's a great knot. Um, one reason, you're doubling your line. You have two legs of mono through whatever it is, whether it's a swivel through your lead as opposed to one, making for a lot stronger connection. It's a little bulky. It does look bulky. A little it's, bit. It doesn't win any prizes. A little prizes bit. You sacrifice for, for, a little bit of bulk for strength. Whatever. It's all about the strength. And, and again, it's at the knot. So we're going to come in tight. You're going to watch us, um, watch actually you rig it. It's not really my knot, my thing, but check this out. Here's John B. rigging the deep drop lead knot. Okay, let's tie this knot we were just speaking about. What we're going to do is we're going to double our line for about a foot. We're going to pinch it at the top. 